Bunch up in the kitchen, the melting pot. And tonight's entertainment, Devin Almond's Honey Time. Ivory, I love you, man. I love you, man. Remember that? I remember. And if you remember that line, that means you might be thinking about an ice cold Bud Light. Mm. And in that case, you've definitely been touched by our next guest. That's right. He's worked on some of the most popular ad campaigns in the country. And he was recently recognized for his hard work with the first ever Ad Man of the Year award from the St. Louis Ad Club. Impressive. Yeah. Please help us welcome Mr. Mark Shoup. talking I was just thinking that when you actually started in the 80s in advertising mm -hmm. there was no internet that's true so how has your business changed mm -hmm. what did you do then that you don't do now or vice well, versa I, I started an agency in Kansas City called Barrickman advertising which was then bought out by a big company called Doyle Dame Bernbach which did the old Volkswagen commercials mm -hmm. when I started we had the thing called the Twix machine you ever heard of that? It's T W X. I'm thinking of a vending machine. And it was, it was, <laughs> it was right. in fact, I predated fax machines. Oh. So it was very, you used this like a teletype machine to communicate oh. back and forth between stations. And that's how, so things have changed dramatically. At my age, I sit at a computer and do email, and I'm amazed every day on what you can do. Yes. And how you communicate quickly. Mm -hmm. I'm working, uh, I'm, I'm the campaign manager for the uh, mayor of Creve Corps, who's running for uh, mayor again and he's 79 years old, he doesn't use email a whole lot. Mr. And, Dealman, and yeah. Mr. Uh, Harold Dealman, Harold, and, yeah. uh, who is not the best mayor you could ever have in a city, but it's hard to communicate with him a little bit if you're in, in the emails. Mm -hmm. but, Pick up the phone, good old thing. Does yeah. it carry a cell phone? He has like 14 cell phones all over his body. <laughs> wow. he's, he's an amazing man, he's, he's, he's pretty cool. I got, first of all, thank you guys for having me be on first. Oh, okay. Be, be, because my mom always said, anytime you go on a show, you don't follow kids, you don't follow pets or animals, and you don't follow Charlie Dooley. <laughs> so I'm real happy that Charlie's on uh, after me. So well, anyway. you, it's a number of firsts for you. This was <laughs> yes. the first ever Ad Man of the Year award. I mean, what, Amazing. Read, yeah, what thank does you. that mean thank to you? you? Thank you. Yeah, yeah. That's, I, I'm, the first yeah, Thank you. <laughs> well, that was a uh, it was sponsored uh, by the Ad Club of St. Louis. They've mm -hmm. been around since I think 1901. 1901. I understand. Long time. So it's been mm -hmm. 107 years or something like that. And this is the first time they've done uh, an Ad Man of the Year or Ad Woman of the Year. Year, and I was very fortunate to have been honored with that. I wonder what took them so long. If you've been around that long and yeah. it's an ad. Well, I haven't been around that quite that no. long. No! <laughs> she means the company. Organization. Well. Yeah, no, it's, Please, I was yeah. not referring to no, no, you. No, no, no. No, they've, uh, it's been around for a long time. I don't know why they haven't, but uh, I was very fortunate yeah. to be the first one, so. And you know, Mark, I was uh, talking to you a little bit before the show, and I told you that when I was in college, I remember my girlfriend, I used to just create jingles. and I love that. I love jingles. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Oh, oh really, you know, we grew up bet. in the jingle era, really. And at least I did. And, um, but I know when you came on board, you worked for a company, and then you branched off. So what made you decide to branch off on your own? Was it because you too loved the creative aspect of it? Well, I've always loved creative, uh, ever since I've been a very young child. Although, in the, in the agency, I'm not a creative person. I'm more, mm -hmm. when they, there's an account side, and those are the people that deal with clients and from a business perspective. Mm -hmm. Then you have the creative side, and those are the guys that are really, you know, the people at our agency are world class, and they are extraordinary writers and art directors and designers. I can't do that. When I was in college, I asked my professor, I really like this advertising thing. You know, do you have to be able to draw to go into advertising? And they said, uh, yeah. And they didn't know because it was like a TA. And I said, well, I'm, you know, I, I can't go into advertising. But I, I did, and uh, I've been in advertising or marketing my entire career. And it's, it's been a good career. Making had a, a lot of fun. splash. You know, especially, we, we know Shoot Company here in St. Louis. But, I mean, people all over the country know Shoot because of the ad campaigns that you guys put on. You're also here in St. Louis, one of the top places to work. That's so not, not only is there a creative feel going on, talk about why it's one of the, why it's such a neat place to work. Well, we do a lot of things. We have a gym, 
uh, in our office building. We're at Fourth and Pine downtown. It's a beautiful building, first of all. You walk in, it's very ornate ceilings. It's just a, it's yeah. a great environment, great creative environment. So that fosters people thinking and learning and, and collaborating on developing great ideas. Uh, I like to have fun. And you know, you take work seriously during work time, but when you have off hours, and even during off mm -hmm. uh, business hours, you should have some fun. So we have a gym, we've got a pool table, we've got vending machine, we've got a beer vending machine. Uh, really? We have boot camps Monday, Wednesdays, and That's Fridays. That's why they have fun at work. <laughs> <laughs> but I also believe in having fun and having people stay in shape. So yeah. we have a lot of exercise programs, mm -hmm. and we have people coming from the YMCA and help us, and and so. Nice. You know, we've been honored by St. Louis Magazine, St. Louis Business Journal, KSDK TV, and so several radio an stations. Right now, I'm just wondering. I, exactly. <laughs> I'd love to have either one of you either, anytime. <laughs> anytime. <laughs> yes. And to add to that creative process. Although, I'll tell you, I'll drive and I'll see some of those billboards that you've done, and I'll think, man, who thinks of those? That is so that. funny. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. It's, I love driving down Highway 40 or 44 and seeing some of the work that we've done. It's just, it, I get a big charge out of that. That's why I like advertising. I like seeing the kind of stuff I've done. You know what, as a matter of fact, we're gonna see one of the ads that okay. you just did. We're gonna see a commercial that you did so, th so that those watching can correlate the name with the face. So okay. let's watch one of your ads right now. Passion, you gotta have it. It's not just a ticket, it's a pact to be there in body and mind and spirit to do whatever it takes to win. The blue note is all about harmony. True blue fans, the team, it's not woo, woo. It's, it's woo, woo, the diaphragm. Everyone brings something to the game. I got that, I got that, I need that, I should pierce something. <laughs> Thank you. Do, you. do you like working with sports? Love sports. We worked with the Blues for 11, uh, 10 or 11 years and did the Bleed Blue campaign and many of the other great campaigns. We also worked with the St. Louis Cardinals and, and KTRS Radio and we had the campaign with the Missing Birds, if yes, you remember that. Yes, yes. That got a lot of publicity. It got me in the front page of the Post-Dispatch, but not for good reasons because oh. we, they said we weren't transparent in a lot of things we were doing. But we couldn't take credit for it because at the time it looked like it was a St. Louis Cardinals uh, billboard. There it is, but it ended up being a KTRS billboard. We couldn't talk about it, so they thought we weren't being transparent. Oh. But it all worked out great, and uh, the, the objective was to create visibility and awareness for our client, which was KTRS and the Cardinals, and it worked out very well. So it was a, that was a great campaign. Won a lot of national and international awards. In fact, it was published in a, a book in Japan and now Korea about this campaign. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty all cool. Over the world. Literally, Mark, thank <laughs> you so much. You bet. Yeah. You bet. A lot of fun, a lot of fun. Good to see you. I think my son's going to want to grow up and be that guy on the commercial, and I'll just have to send him over to Mark's place. Exactly. So you, you know, work in the exactly. ads. You know, <laughs> you, know what, you want to get in touch with Mark, 314-421-5200 for Shoop Advertising, 314-421-5200. Or go to shoopco.com, <laughs> and or you can just drive right by that beautiful building right here Indeed. in St. Louis. Indeed, they Ooh. have a gym, you know that, don't <laughs> you? <laughs> you know, we're going to go to a break right now, but don't touch that dial, because we have so much coming up. As a matter of fact, what's next? The Melting Pot Fondue. Mm. Stay with us. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.